Did you ever notice that something gets stuck inside your brain? Like a song. Or a thought. I'm worried that I'm sick. I'm worried that I'm sick. I'm worried that I'm sick. Or an itch that you can't stop scratching. But the more you scratch, the more it itches. These are examples of our brains at work, shaping the way that we experience life. Scientists call this predictive coding. Predictive coding is a theory of brain function in which the brain is constantly generating and updating a mental model of the environment. That's a scientific way of saying that our brain is directly responsible for the reality that we live and breathe. Sounds weird, right? Let us explain. Here's a personal experience of the feeling of surprise that is generated when our brain has its own thoughts about something, when the reality is very different. Howard's wife woke up early one morning and had her usual breakfast, slices of apple, yogurt, and granola. That morning, she had an extra slice, came up to the darkened bedroom, and fed it to Howard. Howard didn't see the slice in the dark, and as soon as he took a bite, he got a rotten taste in his mouth and tried to spit it out. It turned out that Howard's wife had a sliced peach that morning, rather than an apple. Howard's brain was expecting a crunchy apple, and it got a soft peach. Even though the peach was sweet, his brain was worried about a rotten apple, and created the rotten taste to warn him and protect him from eating dangerous food. It completely ignored the sweetness of the peach, and focused on the soft, squishy feel because it was unexpected. Weird, right? The brain has an internal drive to predict what we will experience right now and in the next few minutes, and there are a few well-known examples of how it can be absolutely fooled. If you're not convinced, there are some classic examples that can be explored at www.illusionsindex.org. We particularly like the cylinder and checkerboard example of something that you just can't believe, even when you know you are being fooled. The theory of predictive coding is really important when it comes to understanding chronic pain. Let's say that you hurt your back one day, and for the next few days you have a lot of lower back pain. It's much, much worse every time you try to bend over and put on your shoes. Gradually it gets better, but after several months, every time you bend over, you still feel that familiar sense of tightness and pain in the back. Common sense tells us that the injury has healed by now, but why are we still experiencing pain, and only with certain movements? Predictive coding. The brain lived the experience of pain with forward bending immediately after the injury, and because it was really unpleasant, it wants to avoid the same sensations in the future. In fact, it continues to predict that pain will occur in the lower back with bending long after the original injury has healed. This goes back to the fact that everyone has machinery for sensing danger. It's there to protect us. It stops us from walking into traffic, picking up snakes, and eating rotten apples. The danger signal is particularly loud when we have been injured like when we touch a hot stove. And danger signals can be really sticky. Once they get in, it can be hard sometimes to get them out. Danger signals are controlled by predictive coding. Other terms for predictive coding are things like developing a habit or muscle memory. A habit is a neural circuit in the brain that is learned through repetition, becomes almost automatic, is triggered in certain situations. Scientists like the term conditioned response, but habit or muscle memory is just as good. Pavlov rang a buzzer whenever he fed his dogs. Soon enough, the dogs began to salivate when they heard the buzzer, even if there was no food around. When an environmental cue is linked to a brain reaction, that connection is formed in the neural circuits of the brain, and neurons that are fired together become wired together. Let's say that someone has a stressful day and gets a headache while shopping in a large store with bright lights. Their brain can get wired to associate bright lights with headaches. 
Over time, they may start to get headaches every time they are in bright light. Predictive coating. Finally, the more one fears the triggers of pain, such as bending over and bright lights, the worse the pain will get as the neural connections get stronger and stronger. The good news is that there are simple methods for rewiring these connections in the brain and eliminating pain.